Hi, and welcome to my very awkward intro. My name is Susan Slash Bambi, and this is Bambi's Rambles. How are we, friends? Are we good? That's good. And if you're not okay, that's okay too. <clears throat> In today's video, we are going to talk about Miss Radiant Brit. I don't know why I have this thing where like I have to touch stuff. It's like weird. It's ridiculous. Am I telling people to set fires by putting a liner like that? Don't set fires. Any hoozle. Especially because in Australia right now, if we're getting into summer, this is a firebug season. Do not. Anyway. Um, we're going to be talking about Miss Radiant Brit. And I have not made a video on Miss Radiant Brit for a very, very long time. Um, partly because I just didn't want to beat a dead horse because she does the same thing every single video. And you could easily critique, debunk, correct any sort of video she puts on the internet and I've come to the realization that she can stay in her lane and do her thing and her subscribers can like her and love her and all those sorts of stuff and you know and and that's that like I should just leave it alone but uh, this sort of thing kind of annoyed me um and I kind of just want to talk about it for a second and it's not going to be a long one, it's not going to be an attacking one or anything like that but I will say something before I get started. There is a channel called As Seen By A Subscriber um, and this person who runs this channel was, an, was someone who hated me when I didn't like Brit, liked me when I was friendly with Brit and now hates me again because I'm not friends with Brit. This channel does not like me and my friends. Um, I have no issue like with um, channels doing commentary on me. I feel like I'm very, very small for that, but I'm not gonna be Hello Leash here and be like, oh, why is she doing the amount? I'm only a two, 2K sub channel, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 I just, that's me thinking like, are you really that mad about me? <laughs> but if she's mad, that's fine. Like get your content, love your editing, do your thing. Um, Put my tweets in your videos, find my contradictions, whatever it is, I'm happy for you to do it. Go to town. People want to go watch her channel, go watch. It's called As Seen By A Subscriber. But before you do that, <clears throat> I just want to say this person is a big, big, big fan of Radiant Brit. And this person also, because in a live stream, I did not... <laughs> make my daughter a peanut butter sandwich was claiming that I'm a bad mother. I'm a bad mother because I didn't make my daughter a peanut butter sandwich when I was on a live stream. Do you want to know why I didn't make it? Well, one being my husband was home and he had full capability of making my daughter a peanut butter sandwich. Second of all, both of us do not want to feed our daughter a peanut butter sandwich when it's 5.30. And if you're a mother, you will know that's because if I gave my daughter a peanut butter sandwich, <laughs> I can't believe I'm even trying to like defend myself over a peanut butter sandwich. That's some whack shit. YouTube's some whack shit sometimes. But anyway, <laughs> my daughter was in a mood. She was home from kindergarten. She was screaming. She was carrying on like a pork chop. Jose was dealing with her. I wasn't going to make her a sandwich because in an hour she was going to get dinner. And why did i go to all that length to make a really nice pasta with homemade sauce if my daughter is going to say mommy i'm not hungry anymore because i decided to eat a whole meal peanut butter sandwich at 5 30. anyway so i know that with making this video comes consequences and the consequences i'm going to face from making this video is as seen by a subscriber is going to make content um and if she wants to make content on this and critique me and correct me and have their opinion on me, that's completely fine. But what you're not going to do and get away with it because you've already deleted said video, which is fine. People have it. I've seen it on your channel and in other places um, because it was sent to me as well and I have it on my computer. Um, <clears throat> That CPS needs to get involved with me as a mother, with Marissa as a mother. That's not commentary. That's not commentary. So 
when this person decides to get upset at the fact that I don't trust the source when people reference as seen by a subscriber look I've wasted two minutes talking about this channel and I'm already getting like tired that's why I'm getting like confused but anyway um that's why I don't reference them as a channel that's why I don't I don't reference you as a source I don't reference you as a channel I don't I don't trust anything that comes out of your mouth because if that's something that you want to put on the internet that you have every one of mine and Marissa's videos saved and you are urging others to contact CPS for me and my kids because of a peanut butter sandwich you're not someone I'm, I'm you know I vibe with do a deep dive that's fine I'm a walking contradiction I've said it before in other videos I'm not opposed to it but keep my kids out of it Okay, anyway, back to the topic at hand. I just wanted to put that out there because I know it's going to come just because I put out a Radiant Brute video. I'm waiting for it. So go subscribe, go send some love to this person that is very um, below the belt. But anyway, so <clears throat> about a year ago, Radiant Brit was talking about mummy vloggers. And she was talking about them in the way where they... Um, I will link all the videos down below. If I can get clips and pop them in here, I will. Basically saying that these people that do... and She says it all the time. So I'm not even just saying from a year ago. She says it all the time. She always says it. Um, they live unrealistically by the way that they spend their money. Um, with their Christmas hauls, um, their Target hauls, and their um, grocery bill. Radiant Brit was very upset that someone had someone had made a $400 grocery haul and filmed it. And when I heard that, I was like, what? You're actually upset and think that that's worthy of making content on? So a mum goes and spends $400. I don't know how everyone else does groceries. I don't know how everyone else spends their money and how much groceries it costs for them. I don't know that. But I know my groceries. So I have a seven-year-old, a six-year-old, a four-year-old, my husband, who is um, a fitness fanatic, which means that he needs a lot of protein, a lot of food, a lot of all this fancy stuff um, because he's trying to bulk for, him, for the future, for fighting or whatever he wants to do. I don't know, some shit. Anyway. So I have a, and I have a dog and we have a guinea pig, okay? My grocery bill the other day when I went to the supermarket, I went and got dinner for two nights. Uh, one, night, one night was salmon, so that it is expensive, I get it. But it, for two nights of dinner, snacks and fruit and vegetables um, for two days like for kids for school and all this sort of stuff. All that stuff there cost me $190. So you're going to rag on mum for spending $400 on groceries. $400 on groceries is probably like a week for me. And we have, a, we have vegetarian nights. We have vegan nights. I still cook vegan food. I still eat vegan food. You know, it's not even just like the butchers are so expensive. It's That's just life, okay? As a parent, as a family, that's what we have to do as my kid if you if you let him he'd eat seven yogurts in 24 hours like that's just how it is anyway i'm just saying that for the mums out there that i feel like that was really i don't know i think that was really fucked up to even do that like why even say that what's what was your point anyway i'm just talking about christmas presents and all those sorts of things and all this sort of stuff like you know it's just ridiculous so 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 ridiculous Oh my god, my title has a typo. I'm going to fix that. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> so she made that assum assumption, judgment, whatever you want to call it. And I will give her the benefit of the doubt and maybe say she is not familiar with how a household works. Like, a, a, of that size. Like, a, like, you know, I know she lives with her partner and her dog. And I don't think she lives with anybody else. But... That might seem like outrageous to her, but I'm just coming from a mum's point of view of like how much I fucking spend on it. Anyway. So 
So anyway, in that said video, she went on her usual altar, target, whatever it was, haul that she does all the time. This said haul, she had brought a candle, a $35 candle, and it was a year ago, and a subscriber, a person, or whatever, um, commented, not whatever in the way of like disrespecting that person, but like, I don't know if they were a subscriber of hers, or they were just viewing, or whatever it was, or a mummy blogger supporter who was, you know, trolling, I don't think she was trolling, but do you get what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> basically saying... So she says that these people, these mummy vloggers or whatever, are unrelatable. They have more money than their viewers and it makes them feel less than. I don't feel less than when I watch mummy vloggers do hauls. I don't. I, and I'm not saying that other people don't feel that way because they probably do and can. And I, I get that. I personally do not feel less than. Um... That's just me personally. But anyway, this person said in their comment, <clears throat> you're talking about like being unrelatable and these people having so much money and going and buying, you know, things that other people can't relate to or spend and things like that. And you went and brought a $35 candle, which was a good point. Good point. Because me cannot buy a $35 candle. Right now, I'm currently saving money to pay for my um, official ASD assessment um, in March, and I'm saving to buy that. So for me personally, I can't relate. I don't know who's messaging me. It's probably Marissa. I agree that that is unrelatable, but for me personally, I wouldn't make a whole ass video about her not being relatable over like over a candle so she goes and says that all these people are not relatable so on and so forth so what she does is the other day she made a video saying that she doesn't like hauls from these channels i mean from like mummy vloggers and stuff because she's like it's blood money it's blood money it's blood money because they make it off the back of their children because she's all about that um that life um so she's all, all about that life essentially where kids are kids on the internet are bad news so on and so forth so she's making that argument but no a year ago she was making a different argument which was it's not relatable so we've gone from blood money to not relatable i mean no we've gone from not relatable to blood money and that doesn't make any sense to me because i'm like okay if your opinion was that 12 months ago why not keep it the same or like elaborate further no you've literally just changed your stance and i wouldn't have a problem with her changing her stance unless she unless she like elaborated on it a bit more and kind of explained it but anyway um, anyway, so this person that wrote the comment about this candle or whatever, a year later, Radiant Brit decides to go and buy another candle a year later as an anniversary of this moment. And that's the bit that gets me. That's the bit. The rest of it, I'm like... Uh, I just eye roll and don't watch and let her subscribe. Let, let her have her channel. She's in this side, I'm on this side. I'll stay away from it. But that there is what bothered me. Because I find that so, so, so petty. And so just ridiculously mean girl. And I think that's why she has some subscribers like as seen by a subscriber. Because she... Coley is the same way like she is nasty in her videos and Brit is in the comment sections co-signing it like I just find it so fucking bizarre but she goes out and makes this whole last video whole last drama whole last thing about this fucking candle you're like being mean for no reason someone called out your hypocrisy about how how 
how what you were saying didn't make sense if you added it up to what you were doing. And again, it doesn't make any sense when you sit there and say you brought a $10 hand sanitizer because you like the fact that it was grey. How privileged is that? How spoiled is that? But I'm not ragging on you for that. But that's why you shouldn't rag on others for what they do. Because we, we live in a world where everyone is different and some people have enough money to spend on certain things and some people don't. Some people would think that my, like my hair extensions that cost me a lot of money um, is privileged. And I shouldn't show that to people. And I think, okay, well then there's, I could, I can afford these but I could never afford a $35 candle because I'm like, okay, they've got $2 candles at the reject shop. Do you know what I mean? Do you get what I'm saying? So anyway, basically, She's upset at someone talking about her with a candle. But she can talk about everybody else with what they do. This, this, this is the thing that pisses me off about Radiant Brit. Is like, we all make our coin one way or another. Okay? And let me tell you something. Kids that are in videos, I'm not saying every single child on the internet with family vloggers is not exploited. Some are, some aren't. You can't throw everyone in the same box. This is a thing that Brit keeps doing and you can't do that. And I get that everyone has this really strong opinion on kids being on the internet and I get that, but she was completely fine with with an autistic child being on the internet but not other children. Um, I'm in a current dilemma right now because my kids want to be on YouTube. My boys want their own gaming channel and, you know, and, and they love this person and this person. They want to do stuff like that. And, you know, my, I understand kids don't understand the, the, the ramifications of the internet. So I get where she's coming from. I get it. That's the thing with Radiant Brit. I get where she's coming from. But I don't necessarily believe that she believes these things. Because if you want to sit there and say that she's not, like, people aren't relatable for $400 grocery hauls or what they get their kids for Christmas, then she has to understand that the pendulum swings the other side where people don't find you relatable because you go to Target and Ulta and all these places during a pandemic last year. Like, you go every single time you're filming you're off buying things that you don't need and we have click and collect and we have um online shopping and all this sort of stuff and you're yelling at people for going to disneyland but you're going here and like all this stuff like it's very very contradictory that's the thing that people have a problem with that's the thing that i have a problem with and that's the thing that i don't understand someone said to you that your for your 30 dollar 32 35 dollar candle is not relatable then to go, a, go 12 months and do an anniversary and then go buy yourself a $40 candle to prove a point. Like, imagine. Imagine. Like, I am of, I am of the belief and the mindset and the choices that, like, how I was brought up. I was brought up in an Italian household that, um, and that's just how I am, that, Counting other people's coins is tacky. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I have done that in other videos and I'm just a walking contradiction again. But I just find it so tacky. I find it so tacky to go around and worry about what other people are putting on their channel when it comes to the money that they have. Like, before, it was about because it's making other mums feel bad. Well, I'm a mum and I don't feel bad. I understand that there is a spectrum in the world of who can afford things and who can't. Like, why why are we not mad at Rich Lux and Jeffree Star and all those sorts of things for all the beautiful, incredible stuff they have? Why are we not worrying about that? Do you know what I mean? Like, and then to say it's blood money. <sighs> I don't know. I just find it ridiculous. I find it really, really, really ridiculous. And I find it very, very distasteful that someone 
like a subscriber who sends you a DM or writes on your channel or whatever who does not have a platform, why they should be blasted when they're literally echoing a lot of what other people think and think of the stuff that you put out. So you can dish it out but can't take it type thing. And had your subscribers go after her. And then 12 months later, 12 months later, say the anniversary of the candle and make bitchy comments like this. And you know what I mean? I just, oh, fuck me, man. This whole Candlegate situation. Like, I don't like making videos on Radiant Brit, as I said before. I don't like it. I don't enjoy it. I don't feel that it's necessary. Um... I just find it really, really silly and I find it really, really irresponsible. And I find that maybe that's a thing with Radiant Brit that she lacks self-awareness. And certain people can see through that and certain people can't. And that's why I kept making these videos on her because I was like, why can't people see what I see? But I know no one's going to see it. And I know people are going to get upset. And I know I'm going to have the same people in the comment section of every one of my Radiant Brew videos, it's going to be the same people in this comment section. That's completely fine. Um, dislike, like, share, do whatever you want. It's all about engagement on YouTube. I just feel as though I want to give the best to Brit, wish the best to Brit, so on and so forth. But this wasn't it, girl. Like, this was so fucked up. So fucked up and so ridiculous. And because of this video, I'm literally going to do a grocery haul video and show you guys how much money groceries cost. It's not fucking cheap, mate. And people shouldn't be dragged for that on the internet by someone like that. Like, it's just silliness to me. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Remember to like, subscribe, send a pigeon, keep the same energy. And I will see you guys very, very soon for another video. I'm really trying to, like, do more content. Um, and there's a few reasons why. But I will let you guys know in the next video. Bye.